Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayer on Saturday, February 20th. Today's reading is Psalm 32 and the reflection is written for us by Patty Williams. Let us begin. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Let us pray. God, our guide and guardian, lead us on this journey of faith. Through the days of Lent, help us walk your path to the cross. Strengthen us to resist the demons that would lead us astray. Walk with us, shepherd us, Christ Jesus, our shelter and our salvation, even as we seek to be your disciples. Tender shepherd, who promised to be with us always, we welcome you now into our midst and invite you to stay with us. Come be our guide, strength, and companion on our life journey. Amen. Psalm 32 Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silence, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. <clears throat> my strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will, tra I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you. At a time of distress, the rush of mighty water shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You deliver me with glad cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding, whose temper must be curbed by bit and bridle, else it will not stay near you. Many are the torments of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds those who trust in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. The Reflection David, in Psalm 32, writes of the burden upon his heart and soul and the torment of knowing the terrible things he has done, and his heart is heavy. I can imagine him awake at night, pacing the floor, filled with feelings of loneliness and despair, the realization that he cannot hide from his wrongdoing. We can imagine him as he falls onto, onto his knees, humbles himself before God, telling God all he has done, bearing every part of his soul. And what does this awesome God of ours do? He forgives him. His sin is no longer all of the anguish that David felt is gone. He is at peace. We have a choice to hold on to all of the times we have done things that make us feel as if we are not worthy to even ask for forgiveness, to hold on to hurts that others have done to us, or we can do as David did, open our hearts to the Lord, humble ourselves before him. Just as our Lord forgives us, we then show forgiveness to those who have hurt us. During this time of Lent, we remember the sacrifice that was made for us, how we are forgiven, how our sin is washed away with the blood of Christ. Forgiveness is a blessing in our lives. It is a grace that we are shown when we don't deserve it, and it is a grace that we show to other people in our lives that we have turned from. Let us pray. Lord of grace and mercy, we come before you bearing our souls. Forgive us. Help us to move away from anger and discomfort to peace and acceptance. Fill us with the need, I'm sorry, fill us with the strength we need to forgive just as you forgave us. Amen. <clears throat> We continue, satisfy us in this day with your steadfast love, 
so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Loving God, we lift up our souls and search for your promised presence. Reveal yourself to us this day in mighty mountains, in brilliant rainbows, in curious creatures, in rain showers, in joyous children, in grieving friends, in challenging scriptures, in meaningful prayers, in repentance and forgiveness, in love and grace. Teach us your ways. Lead us in your truth. Guide us on this Lenten journey toward the darkness of death and the hope of resurrection. It's now time for us to speak the needs, names, and desires that strike our hearts this day, trusting in God's grace to weave these needs into prayer for the sake of the world. Today, we continue to lift up the needs of Rosa as she undergoes another surgery. We also pray for her family, especially for Vicki, uh, who accompanies her on this journey. We pray, Lord, for all of those who have recently lost loved ones, for those who are ill, for those who are cold this day. We pray for the people in Texas. We pray for their relief. We pray for restoration of their lives. And Lord God, we pray for all of those in our country who are seeing um, unprecedented uh, cold, ice, and snow. We pray for their safety and for their comfort. And now we pray, the Lord is my shepherd, I will not be in need. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Glorious God, we shall serve you with gladness and come into your presence with a song. We know that you are God, the one who has made us, to whom we belong. We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. We shall enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. We shall tell of our thanks and call upon your name. For you are good and your mercy is everlasting. Your faithfulness endures from age to age. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise God above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. May grace and peace rest upon you, guide you, strengthen you, and keep you as you seek to follow the way of Christ. May it be so today and always. Amen.